Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cars for part two of my PSA submission. This is the one we're going to get into some football and some basketball that I submitted. Go back and look at my prior video. I've done all the baseball on it. Hope you liked it. Hope you commented on it and see what your reaction is to the grades and was you shocked as I was or was it like that's what I'm getting. Love to know your feedback. Love to hear your comments below. So let's get into this. Um, a little bit and we'll show you some basketball and football we have a total of let me see where's my little cheat sheet there it is we have a total of 17 basketballs submission that we did and we have a total of 21 football for a nice roundabout number of 38 cards here we're going to go over here in the submission so a little bit shorter video for you uh, the reason I graded so much baseball is baseball season is up and coming, right? And so I figured they'd be a little bit hotter now. So that's the reason why I graded more of the baseball. So basketball is in season now. This is the part two of the video. So if you like these comments or you like these type of videos, definitely subscri subscribe because I'll be doing more of these. And I'd love to see your reaction to it. So let's start off with a little basketball. We will separate them into 10, 9, 8s, and 7s. Hopefully don't have any 7s, but that's what we're going to grade them as. Go back and look at my prior video. I'll also tell you the percentage of ba baseball and basketball and football here at the end for a total overall percentage grading as well out of 91 total cards. Okay, so let's start off with basketball. First one we're going to look at is a nice Luca pulled this out of a pack live on the channel. And this is the winner, like, a, like an SP, I guess, a little bit edition of Hoops. And it got a nine. Mm. Like to have that one in a 10. The difference between a nine and a 10 is minuscule, probably, that we can't see, right? Or something that's so minor that, yeah, is what it is. Should be able to tell the difference between a, a eight and a 10 or seven and a 10. And I pulled this right out of Monopoly, the only downtown that I got. And it was a color blast, excuse me. And it was a. Anthony Davis and this is a clean card all the way around and it got me a nice good old eight Panini, I mean PSA. Do you know how to grade these? I'm wondering uh, This one was Pretty freaking clean to be a darn eight. Look at these corners man. Look at the centering spot on Look at that looks good, right? Or does it look so good that it deserves an eight? <laughs> Here it is. We'll go back to my whining again. <clears throat> Love this card. Optic. Luca. I was looking for this card when it come through to see if it got a 10, and it got one. Nice, clean card. There's a couple that surprised me. They got a higher grade than I think, but most of them fell short and upset me. <laughs> We've got a um, red and yellow Jason Tatum rookie card from Optic. The only thing I can see the reason why I got a nine is maybe centering a little bit. As you can see left to right, maybe. I don't know. Don't know, but it got a nine. I'll accept some nines with the minor centering issues. My judgment is it's within 60-40. Their judgment is 70-30. I don't know. Minor. Look, uh, I have like two or three of these. I sent one off, um, and he gets a nine. That's probably the best one. <laughs> so, nice Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. Done pretty good on Luca though with this submission though. We got another ten for Luca. This is the stars. Panini excuse me, Panini status when I say stars, but um yeah. Nice one there. Nice ten on that. So we got two ten Lucas. And so we got three nines. So see if we can catch back up. We can catch back up with a eight. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell. Prestige. Don't have many. Does have a small tick up here, I think, on this corner, maybe. Other than that, that's the only thing that I saw. Maybe that bottom right might have a tick on it. It's kind of hard to focus in on something like that. The camera doesn't want to as much, but maybe a small tick down there. But And you can see it a little bit up there on the top left or on the top right. Uh, don't see anything else. Maybe down here a little bit. But does it deserve an 8 for a couple tick marks? Panini says yes. Or I keep saying Panini PSA. 
Tyrese Halliburton Silver. Looked at this card. Man, this thing was clean. I was like, heck yeah, man. I'm sending this bad boy off. And right now I see something right there. And I think that's not in the card. I think that's in the plastic. But there wasn't a scratch when I sent it off. But there seems like there's something right up there. And I can't tell if that's in the plastic or the card. Maybe they scratched it. I don't know. But it gave me a nice nine. You would think a scratch like that. Knowing them, if they saw that being a scratch, they'd be like, oh, it's an eight. But got a nine. So maybe it's in the plastic and there's something minor that I can't see. Another Tyrese Halliburton. Not very good at grading him. It's a nine. Just his base. And it's hard to get these things in centering. And this thing was like really good centering. Maybe top to bottom just a little bit, but got a nine. So nines are growing. So while the nines are growing, let's 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 gain a little bit on the eights, right? Uh, Luka Doncic, Prison Chronicles. Uh, not Prison Chronicles, Panini Chronicles. This is a score. Um, pretty good center card. Nice, clean. Like I said, I polish all these cards before I send them off. Looking for any imperfections and everything. And, you know, like I said, I think that at least it's got a 50-50 shot to get in a 10. And it gets like stuff like this in 8. Got a nice Chronicles Ricky card of Luka Doncic. Just base. Purple 2020 Ant-Man. Good player, right? Give me a 9. Ain't win. This look had done pretty good though. It's Elite from Chronicles. Got me a nice 10. I'll take it. It's almost like a hollow or something. We'll save this one right here. Set that up there. Got another Luca. Nine. It's got a blue border up top. Maybe a tick on the top right. I don't know. Um, blue board at the bottom too so it's kind of hard to see stuff like this is made into the card that's the way the card's supposed to be it's like a little wave going on but they give me a nice nine so what are you going to do something minor maybe we can't see what they think it is nice don russ base rated rookie of luca i'll take that nice 10 some of these cards are gonna be pc cards some of them i end up selling to support the grading fees that i had to pay like 1400 some odd dollars for this and we got another status, got a nine on it. So, what are you going to do? Last card in basketball was one I was excited to send. And I shouldn't be because we got an eight now. And that's LeBron James rookie card. A lot of these cards are faked that you see. This one is not. I actually bought this from a guy that collects that I know. And he had it for a long time and he parted with it. I figured it was looking at it. It's going to get at least a nine, maybe a ten. You know, but I bought it based on a nine value to some degree um, back about a year ago or so. And I sent it off and get graded and gets a freaking eight. So, my luck, my story, right? And yeah, an eight. Man, I really thought this was going to get a nine, and I thought it had about a 50% chance of getting a 10. And it comes back a freaking eight. So, overall, basketball results we had 17 cards submitted. Five tens, eight nines, four eights. With the percentage, 29%, 47%, and 24% for just basketball. Not very good, right? I agree. I think it should be a lot higher than that. Like I said before, normally my rate of return is about 60 to 70% range on my tens. And this one has failed me, so... But we'll go over football now and see the consistency, how it stacks up to baseball. All right. We'll start off with the Patrick Mahomes. Rookies and stars. Rookie with a nine. Yep. Like this card. Jordan Love. It's not numbered. It's the die cut maroon prism. Got a nice 10 on that. He's hot right now. All right. Good old Jordan Love. Shout out to James Palmer. Take a look at that bad boy. Nice Jordan Love 10 die cut. These are hard. Those, now, I would give you, those, those probably are hard to get 10s on, uh, but this one was very well centered. You can see, look how good and centered this thing is. Die cuts normally have always got centering issues, it seems like, and that was really clean as I sent it. Um, Josh Jacobs, 9 hollow. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know. 9's already gaining on the 10s. Man, disappointed in this one a lot. And this one's my 
I bought this from a card shop. I scanned it before looking at it to make sure that we were going to get something really good out of it. And I figured at least a 9, very good chance at a 10, and we get an 8 for a rookie of Peyton Manning, which I think, in my opinion, is probably the best quarterback ever, yes, and that does include Tom Brady. Uh, that's my personal opinion. Don't have anything to gain or win because of it, but I just think there's nobody that studies better than Peyton Manning. Might have a tick up there, maybe. I don't know. I don't think it deserves an eight, though. The surface was really clean on it. Beautiful card. Doesn't deserve to me an eight, but got an eight. Really disappointed in that. Excited about this and prism break. Look at there, cracked ice. Of C.J. Stroud. There we go. Green cracked ice. Got a 10 on that one. I'll take it. Heck yeah. A little bit older cards. 14 tops. Chrome. Mike Evans. Ball in the right hand. Rookie card. Think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Nine. What are you going to do? One of the best C.J. Strouds I had. I sent it. Thinking, man, look how centered that is. Man, spot on. Look at that. Good sharp corners all the way around. So let's give you a nine. Rated Ricky Nine. Kaleidoscope. We pulled this in one of my breaks that I had on my channel. Uh, we do a draft style, and this was my first pick. I had, like, pick number two or three out of, like, five or six people in the draft. And I think I, I – I know I picked this as my first card. I can't remember if I was drafting number two or drafting number three, and they passed up on it. And I got this Kaleidoscope. I think I was two. I think somebody got another card before me, and then I, this was the second-best card, at least I thought. And it was a nice Kaleidoscope SP of Lamar Jackson. Um, yeah, beautiful looking card in 2023 Mosaic. Like that, got a 10. Take that. That was another one for. I hunted for all my Patrick Mahomes, see what they got graded. <laughs> as soon as the gradings come out, and yeah, I'll take that. A playoff. Jim Mint 10. Patrick Mahomes rookie. Heck yeah, take it. Oh, are we going to catch up? Are we going to catch up to the, to the nines? Yes, we are. There's a Jim Mint 10. Uh, Mon St. Brown, Disco Prism, Ricky, hot little tight end right there. Nice. Not numbered, but nice. As soon as we start to catch up or pass, here comes all the nines. Christian Watson, checkerboard, SP, black and white, 2022, Christian Watson, a nine. Now we're even with the tens. Let's pull ahead. Yes, we will. Brock Purdy, green mosaic, tens. I'll take it. I'll take a Brock Purdy Green and Mosaic. Man, let's pull ahead. Jared Goff, Rookie Optic. Rated Rookie. Love these Rated Rookie Optic cards. Love them. Can't get enough of them. Tens. Take it. Jared Goff, Rookie. As soon as we start to catch up with the nine, uh, eights, or the tens pull away, here come some nines. Trevor Lawrence, this is the red zone. So it's a little bit of like a parallel or whatever. Um, it's not numbered, but out of nine. So... Or Jim Mint 9, I mean, not out of 9. Stephon Diggs. Look at the colors of these cards in Prism, the old school Prism back in 2015. You can't tell me that these cards don't look just like like awesome. I love the look. I mean, make these cards again. <laughs> these just look awesome. I love the big picture in them and everything. I care less about what's going on. Even Optic with the good centering of the card. I mean, it's just spot on, and I love the Prism prism look at this one don't know why it got a nine but um needless to say look at that card stefan diggs rookie card future hall of famer well 2023 donner cj stroud press proof blue rated rookie yep yep an eight these blues you should be able to see corner marks easy Do you? Comment below. Do you see something that's an obvious eight? Because, believe me, an eight you should be able to pick up. And you should be able to see that. It ain't something that's a nine and a ten. Once again, this is an eight. Should be able to see something. Throw you down there. All right, we're passing the nines again. Lamar Jackson, 
Optic rated rookie. Love it. No, Jim meant 10. Can't have all the luck with Jordan Love, so they're going to throw another die cut at me. And <coughs> just like we said before, it's kind of hard to get 10s and E's, and I got a 9. <laughs> Light blue prism die cut. It's not numbered, but still a good looking card nonetheless. Another 9. Like the look of it. Did pretty good with Patrick Mahomes. Not too bad. This is a Leaf. Even a Leaf rookie card of 2017 draft is worth some decent money in Jim Mint 10. And that's what we got here. A Patrick Mahomes. Jim Mint 10. Oh, man, I wanted this one to be a 10. Patrick Mahomes. I think I've only got two of these cards now. This is the only two that I had graded. I think I got the other one got a 9. This one got a freaking 9 too. Oh, man. But very clean card, nice crisp centering. Let's control the pop count a little bit and give it a nine. Even though we, yeah, yep. Start saying maybe is that a tick mark down there? Maybe I don't know on the back. Don't know. Nine. And the last one is a Jordan Love Hollow, very clean looking card, and it got a nine. So. Overall, what happened? The nines passed my tens. Just when I thought I was going to do good in bad football. Not too bad. A little bit better than basketball and baseball. I had out of um, 21 cards submitted, I got 10 nines. Or excuse me, 10, nine tens. Ugh. 10 nines and two eights. Percentage is a little bit better. 43%. 48% and 3% or 9%. I think it's 9%. I think that's right. Percentage wise, 9. Yeah, I think that's right. So it's still not the 65% that I'm accustomed to, but it's a little bit higher. Um, just going over 10 rates, basketball was 29% tens, football was 43% tens, and my baseball was 34% tens. Notice how that's kind of staying similar throughout. My overall score of 91 cards submitted out of both the, series, the, the first series I went over, baseball, basketball, and football, 35% tens, 44% nines, 18% eights, and 3% sevens. That is the overall little sticker that I got right there. I just don't see it, fellas. I really don't. Comment below. I'd love to know your opinions on what you're getting from um, PSA. This is definitely far south of what I'm normally getting. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I got a bad grader. It seems like that, you know, some of these cards doesn't justify it. That eight, 16 eights is pretty freaking high, pretty high. I expect around, you know, five or six maybe out of 91 cards. Uh, maybe one seven if I miss something that's obvious. No, I don't, I don't think I missed three. <clears throat> I think ten of these should be jumping up into the tens, the eights, as far as percentage wise, to make it more accurate. I definitely have more tens in here than I do nines. So it is what it is. But thanks everybody for tuning in. <coughs> and comment below, subscribe, really would appreciate it. Just a click away right down below. And y'all keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.